Is it just me or is the penguin getting strange? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new here, click subscribe. We're talking the penguin. I love this show. I have reviews of it. You can check out here and here. I love this show. Like I said, I talk about it all the time. But one thing that I love about this show, but not just the show, but also the way it connects into the Batman, is that in this version of Gotham City, the Rose Gallery of Batman, for the most part, already exists. They are a part of the environment as is, right? We have the, obviously, the Riddler kind of becomes a Riddler in the Batman, but Joker is established. Penguin is established. Are other villains established? Yes, we already got Magpie and there are more and more and more. And I want to dive into who I think might actually be coming to play later on this season. Maybe even as the villain in the Batman 2. I know a lot of speculation is turning us to Mr. Freeze, which could still be the case. But for the purposes of this video, I want to talk about somebody else. From episode 1, we know that there is a new drug hitting the streets of Gotham. Alberto Falcone tells Penguin this just before Penguin shoots him dead. But in that discussion, Alberto says to Penguin that he has a partner, that it's, he's working with somebody else to drop these new drugs. We learn later on, obviously, that it's Sofia Falcone, but until then, we don't know. We're assuming that it could be anybody that you want to suspect to be it, or nobody. Maybe he's making it up. But we learn that it is Sofia Falcone. As the series goes on, we see that this drug is called Bliss and is made by, by Terry Bloom. And we know Bliss is obviously a drug from the comics. It was a big deal for the Titans to deal with. So Bloom is a character that they've brought into the show. Probably not the one from the comic. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We have obviously nods to Ventress, possibly Mirror Man, and things like that. So the world is big and is being developed. And this drug is at the forefront of the show and possibly what's leading us in to the second season. Now, a lot of talk has been around Julian Rush. Who is Julian Rush? Why do I care about Julian Rush? And why did they get... Theo Rossi, to play Julian Rush. He's obviously going to have a bigger impact on the show than he has. He had a big part in episode four where we saw him in Arkham and how he might care for Sophia Falcone. And then he obviously is a part of getting her out of there. And that's where I want to get this headed to. So we know the drugs from episode three. We know that the drugs in episode three are being shipped from Arkham. Penguin has questions about this. Sophia explains that she was given that drug while she was ha spending her 10 years, her decade in the asylum. Someone is making the drugs there. We learn who it is. It all comes out. But is that the top of the pecking order? I don't believe it is. Julian Rush is a big part of this. Now, there is speculation, of course, that he is Scarecrow, uh, Calendar Man, probably most likely Scarecrow. My thoughts right now, though, at this point, is that he is actually not going to be Scarecrow. He's just going to maintain his alias as Julian Rush. He's just going to be Julian Rush, just the doctor from Arkham. But that doesn't mean he's not working for somebody who is a part of Batman's rogue gallery. We learn in episode four that Julian, with the help of Alberto, got Sophia out of Arkham. Eventually, he left Arkham and with the help of Alberto, got Sophia out. To me, though, the timing is awkward on this. Because oh, Sophia gets out of awkward the day Alberto goes missing. The day that Alberto is killed. Now... Nobody knows that Penguin killed him up until this point, but do they? Does somebody know what's going on? Is there a street level antagonist somewhere who saw the events, who knew the events, who has a who understands what happened to Alberto? There could be someone in the know about what's going on. If Alberto was responsible for taking all these drugs out of Arkham, you would think somebody would have a, a knowledge of where he is at all times because these are a highly, highly effective drug. They're very important to Arkham and to Gotham as a whole. This is about all of Gotham, and I think we are leading to the Court of Owls, but that is the next chapter. I have a video on that you can check out here. So it's curious to me that Julian and Alberto got Sofia out, but she's out the day Alberto is gone. My feeling is they needed Sofia out of Arkham because Alberto was out of the picture. Because Alberto was taken out of the picture and they had knowledge of this, they needed somebody else to front load their operation and that was Sofia Falcone the only other person with knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes because she spoke to Alberto about it so my speculation right now is that Sofia was it's not a coincidence that she was out the day Alberto went missing she didn't know what was going on when she was let out but she was let out she was told she was rehabilitated rehabilitated and she got let out that being said, there's a bigger play at hand here. Julian Rush is a pawn in this game, or he's a part of it. He might not be a pawn, but he's a part of it. He's not the head honcho of all of this. They need somebody on the streets 
to run this operation. And that person is Sophia Falcone, and she's working with the Penguin to do it. My suspicion is that by the end of the series, Penguin will be the one who runs this whole operation. And this operation will... I don't know if we'll get it in the Batman 2, if we'll see what's going on with Bliss in the Batman 2, but if you watch the series, you'll understand the control that somebody is having on Gotham based on using this drug and utilizing this drug to take control of all of Gotham. My suspicion is we never really see the head of Arkham, right? We see Ventress, who's kind of really up there, and then we see Julian Rush is below, and there's all these people that come in and replace and replace and replace, and they always tell Sophia the same thing, but eventually she's let out because they need her for this. Carmine's gone, obviously, and Alberto's gone, and they need Sophia to push the drugs on Gotham, and I really think that the big bad of all of this the villain that we haven't met yet that we haven't seen is hugo strange i think hugo strange is on top of this i think we are leading to a hugo strange in the second batman movie as much as mr freeze would be cool and i think court of owls are still going to play a part of it i think hugo strange might even be in cahoots with the court of owls i think hugo strange is what we're getting i think the drugs are tying into him i think he's taking advantage of it and i think he's going to grow an obsession with batman and find out who that is hugo strange is a great villain to bring into the batman too he's one of batman's oldest villains he debuted in 1940 and he's been known to use drugs and chemical compounds in various storylines to manipulate others or enhance himself in some versions of the comics, he develops a serum that enhances physical strength and aggression, turning his subjects into violent, hulking monsters. I don't think we're going to get violent, hulking monsters, but he's doing something with this drug, and it's cause it's it's you know people love this drug. It's doing things to them psychologically that they can't get from anything else. The drops aren't doing it. Typical drugs aren't doing it, but they so they need this new drug to enhance their feelings. And Hugo Strange is behind all of this. And his willingness to experiment with mind-altering substances reflects his obsession with controlling and understanding human behavior, often at the expense of morality. He's a brilliant, twisted psychiatrist who is known for his obsession with Batman, often trying to unmask him and understand his psyche. I think this would be a great play for the Batman, too, if you have a young Batman going into year two of being Batman and you have someone like Hugo Strange trying to unmask him, find out who he is, getting one step ahead of him at every time, and Batman thinking, oh, man... Maybe I'm in over my head. I think that could be a really fascinating storyline for this to take on because you have a young Bruce Wayne trying to deal with this madman who's trying to find out who he is, who's also poisoning all of Gotham, who, by the way, is in no man's land at the same time, which I really do believe Batman is heading to no man's land. We'll see where that goes. But what do you guys think? Hugo Strange in the Batman 2, the big bad of the Penguin. Will we get a reveal of Hugo Strange or will they keep him silent and then in the Batman 2 come, come into the light like Carmine Falcone? You always just a gimp in an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass! And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.